as tensions flare in Europe over the Israel-Hamas war. Pro-Palestinian rallies across the cities of the United States also unraveled into unrest and chaos. On the 22nd of October 2023, a rally held in solidarity with Palestinians became the target of a possible hate crime in the United States' Minneapolis. Supporters at a pro-Palestine rally blocked traffic along the streets near a pedestrian bridge. A vehicle reportedly drove through the crowd of protesters. Video on social media showed protesters hitting a car before the person inside drove away. The Minneapolis Police Department said no injuries were reported in the incident. In Illinois, a man fired a shot into the air. And another pepper sprayed a pro-Palestinian demonstration near an Israel Solidarity event in Chicago's northern suburb, Skokie. According to reports, pro-Palestinian groups originally planned to protest elsewhere, but moved to Skokie upon learning of the Israeli Solidarity event. A man drove his car into the group, got out and fired a shot in the air before the police took him into custody. It was also reported that the man's car had been covered with Israeli flags. At Tulane University in New Orleans, Louisiana, Pro-Palestine and pro-Israel protesters faced off in a clash that resulted in several arrests. Videos of the incident showed police trying to calm the crowds of rival protesters. Tulane University denounced the rally that was held without the school's approval and descended into a brawl that ended with three students being assaulted. For the past three weeks, New York has been rocked by demonstrations, rallies and vigils in support of the Palestinians and Israel. Thousands of pro-Palestinian protesters poured onto the streets of Brooklyn, New York's largest district, to voice their anger at Israel's bombardment of the Gaza Strip. The march was organized by the Palestinian-led community called Within Our Lifetime, and the participants traveled from the Brooklyn Museum to the Brooklyn Bridge, chanting Free, Free Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. New York's Grand Central Terminal, one of the city's major transit hubs, was forced to shut down after hundreds of protesters demanded a ceasefire of the ongoing war. And most of those protests were people just trying to express their sentiments that they, they don't like what's going on, that they're, they're concerned, they're angry, they're fearful. When you do have clashes, I think you realize that Israel-Palestine is an issue that brings up a lot of emotion. It has done for as long as I've been around, and indeed ever since the creation of the State of Israel in 1948. Uh, that in the era of social media, where quite often instead of the discussion like you and I are having, people wind up shouting or even try to spread disinformation, that can agitate people. On the 27th of October, a large demonstration of mostly Jewish New Yorkers took over the main hall of Grand Central Station in protest of Israel's bombardment of Gaza. The protesters wore black t-shirts that said, not in our name. Banners were unfurled, reading, Palestinians should be free and Israelis demand ceasefire now. And then this happened. Many will suspend. And again, I, I appreciate that people feel passionately about these issues. 
I would ask that you respect our witnesses. And our During a Senate hearing, as soon as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken started speaking, a protester was seen holding a placard calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Secretary Blinken and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin were testifying about the White House's funding of $106 billion for Ukraine, Israel and the U.S. border. Numerous anti-war protesters raised red-stained hands in the air and repeatedly yelled, Cease fire now! Protect the children of Gaza and stop funding genocide. The Capitol Police later removed them from the room.